Hey guys, so we're going to be doing a brief introduction into the blood typing experiment that you all are going to be performing in your lab. In this little dish, we have about three drops of sample one blood. You really only need about two or three, just you don't want to waste any of the sample. And in my hand, I have anti-A serum. In this Petri dish, we have different labels for each of these divots, A, B, and RH. So in this sample, I'm going to put anti-A serum into the A divot. Just like one or two drops is really all you need. Then grabbing one of these little stirring rods, and seeing if there is an agglutination. You guys can see that there is some agglutination present using the anti-A serum. So that means that the A antigen is going to be present in whatever type of blood this is. We can place that off to the side. Next, we'll use the anti-B serum in the divot that says B. Just two drops, really all you need. Taking a second with a separate stirring rod, we don't wanna cross contaminate things. Take a second and stir it. There is no agglutination present, so that means there is not going to be B antigen present in this blood. Then taking the anti-D serum, this corresponds with the RH factor. Placing one or two drops in that. Take a second to stir it. The RH factor is a little weird. It takes quite a while to notice if there is an agglutination present, so just be patient with this one. And give it a quick second. You guys can see now, it kind of looks like jelly. Find that just leaving it alone for a second and then coming back to stir it is where you can really notice the agglutination present. So we had agglutination in A and RH divots, but not B. That means A antigen and RH antigen is present. So this means you would have type A positive blood.